My friends, welcome another video. This is the second video about my brothers and sisters from Manipur, Christians in India. Manipur being a state from India. With my heart and my soul, I am with them and I pray for them. And I know that it's not easy to be a Christian in so many parts of this world. I wish one time, <laughs> or uh, I don't know, this wish, I think uh, you as well, you have it. That us Christians in the Western world will understand how blessed we are that no one yet, is the key word, no one is rounding us up, persecute us, uh, uh, hurting our children, our women, hurting our young men because of our faith. I hope you will understand this, how privileged we are that we live here in the Western world. So this is an update video about uh, the situation there in Manipur between Keiku Christian tribes, mostly Christian and Meitei, Meitei mostly Hindus. Now, uh, according to Al Jazeera, and I will show you the video, both of the sides of this conflict, they are buying guns and uh, they, uh, they say that uh, for self-protection. I want the truth. I want the truth. I, w I wish I know for sure what's happening there. It's very hard from miles and thousands upon thousands of miles where I am to know exactly what happens. But I can only say that this is what transpired in the media as well. You see yourself. I'll show you the video. So, uh, on the music of uh, David Lastra, the same David Lastra that I got you used to. Let's pause his music for a little while. Revive us again, David Lastra. Let's take a look at the video that shows exactly what I said. How uh, both sides, Cookie and Meitei, they are using guns to protect themselves. They, they, um, they try to be safe and uh, who can blame them? So, three, two, one. The video is one minute fifty-eight. So, let's see, one, go! We have to guard our village, our family, our land, so that we can live in peace. Immigrants are. Those people have attacked our village a lot. Because of that, we have no weapons. Those people have many good weapons. Our people are fighting for their lives. Our people are मेरी अपनी फ्रेंड्स मेरी अपनी कलीग ठीक है जहां मेरी वर्क प्लेस में अपने क्लोज फ्रेंड के साथ भी ठीक से नॉर्मली बात करना अनकंफर्ट फील लगता है So that was the video, the video that you've just seen uh, with um, the situation in Manipur. What I could understand uh, is that again politicians created this chaos 
always politicians are messing up things. Politicians are coming in and they saw uh, division and hatred uh, because of uh, brothers and sisters. Politicians have something to gain out of making us divided, making us fighting with each other. Let's be wiser than them. Let's be just like the Bible says, the children of the light to be wiser than the children of the darkness. We have Jesus, we are children of light. So uh, that's what I'm saying. We have uh, not to allow politicians to divide us and to fight against each other. Like Kuki and Meite, two different tribes. They lived in peace together for so long. Then uh, politicians come over, they messed up things so by implementing those laws that you just heard in, the, in this um, acceptable uh, reportage, I call it, acceptable uh, broadcast from Al Jazeera. Prayers for everyone, and, uh, enough with people dying, suffering, enough with people displaced. Ah, let's come back to normality in the name of Jesus. So let's learn something out of this as well. And I proclaim upon the life of, especially my brothers, my cookie brothers, Yes, a uh, Christian tribe from Manipur. I proclaim uh, Romans 8.28. All things work together for the good of my brothers and sisters there in Manipur. And I proclaim as well Jeremiah 29.11. I know my plans for you, says the Lord, my cookie Christian brothers and sisters. I know my plans for you, says the Lord, to give you a hope and a future, not to harm you and not to destroy you. Take this promise deep down in your heart and believe and believe may the name of Jesus be glorified always through it all.